ただいまあは Greetings everybody, welcome to Tokyo. This is a delivery food live stream. I have in my hand soba from a local shop.、Uh, we like to try to support our neighbors whenever we can. So, no delivery pizza this time, something a little bit healthier. And there she is at the table. Kanai. Hi, o k a i i Here you go. This is take out soba. Wow. It's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Careful.、Oh. There wasn't anybody in the shop either. So, that, that was a good. That's, I guess it's, it's, it's just、uh, yeah, it's near 2 30、pretty. p.m. So. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, this is going to be amazing.、Wow. Oh, they did get soba. Can I help me with the bag? Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. And you have to eat it pretty quickly before the noodles get soggy. They just made it. It's a lot. Of course. Let me get some pickles here. Oh, this is fantastic.、Wow. Oh, so this is a meal. This is indeed a meal. How you doing, John? Nice to see everybody here. So, although the state of emergency might be over in Tokyo, that doesn't mean that we should charge outside. And in fact, not everything is open. Tokyo is, is opening up in steps, and we're in step one. We're not sure if,、uh, when step two is going to be、uh, happening. It could be in June. That's when more things will be opening up. Places can stay open a little bit later. So, we're still being cautious. That means we're doing takeaway and delivery food、um, a couple times a week just to. to Add a little bit of fun to the day. Soba is a really fun food. It's a really healthy food and it's better than pizza, even the tempura, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I ordered this tendon. I love tempura, and soba shops are quite famous for having tempura. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. It's hot. Yeah. Wow, it's still steaming. Right. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, now open it. Let the、yeah. steam out. Oh, that's so awesome. A steaming bowl of hot soba. You can get it cold, and then if you do, you can dip it in there. We both got it hot. We're looking for something、uh, a little bit warm. I, I kind of like it. Now, Kanai, what did you order? I have a tendon, which is tempura on rice or a tempura bowl, I guess you'd call that. And a set, right? So, soba came with it on the side. Tendon and soba set. Right. And it came with some pickles. Now you have these massive shrimp tempura. I ordered tempura soba. Tempura soba. So I'm gonna put this tempura on soba. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. That's, wow. a, that's a picture right there. I, Then, I, I, I'm gonna put.、This. Oh. <laughs> It's a l i k e so good. Half is yours. Oh, half is mine? How dare you take half my <laughs> hand, Aggie? Massive prawns. I guess they cut them and they get them longer, like there. Oh, thanks for giving、wow. me some. I got my half on、And、here. And we have spice, shichimi, tofu. A little bit of shichimi, okay. You want it? Of course. Hey guys, if you like these delivery food episodes, Click the thumbs up button so we know that this is something that you're interested in because it looks and smells so good. I wish I can, I can push that smell through the screen to you. Ooh, that's a little bit of, of spice to there. Jeff Ang's in the house. Definitely、nice. looks delicious. It's beautiful. It is very beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. That's so wonderful. And then over here, I have my tendon set. I kind of wish that I had what Kanai has. I have one shrimp in there. That's okay. We can choose hot or ice. Oh, okay. So, so, what w a s the choices on the menu? What else, did, what else did they have on the menu tonight? Because you ordered this by telephone. Yes. What else did they have on the yeah, menu? Yeah, they have a lot. They have、uh, soba with tempura and curry soba.、Wow. Curry soba and kake. Tamago soba? Tamago soba. Yeah, soba with egg. And so with a mushroom.、Oh. And tororo? Tororo, tororo, you know, tororo. yes. I、Sam、love、Sansai. tororo. Yeah. You wanna take a photo? Yeah, I'm gonna take a photo、yeah. really quickly. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> and I love this tendon here. Oh, this is so magical. 
No, we have to eat quickly. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm awful. <laughs> I'm a bad bad man. Oh, that's so nice. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. So, do, what, what's your favorite thing at the? Why soba shops, Kanai? Hmm? Why does it? Why do soba, soba shops have tempura and curry hmm. rice? Do you know? I don't know. It's history. History. <laughs> yeah, they have normally they have uh, tendon, katsudon, oyakodon. Yeah. So normally they have set menu for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. But this looks so good. Yeah, I also like curry at curry rice. Yeah. At the soba shop. Yeah. It's kind of Japanese style curry they have yeah. at the soba shop. That sounds good. It tastes good. so good. That tastes so good. You All right, finished? let's eat. Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why I wear a hat. All right, we're better. Quarantine hair. Itadakimasu. Yeah, itadakimasu. And we say that. Hey, that's these are yours. Okay. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells so good. All right, let the lady eat. <laughs> you can go first. Report the report the delicious deliciousness through the camera to the people. Mm. It's awesome. How many stars? Mm, nine. Out nine point five. Out of five or ten? Yeah. Out of ten. Four. No, no, out of ten. ten. She doesn't nine understand that. She doesn't get the star system <laughs> sometimes. It's all right. I uh, like soba. I know you do, because it's something that's healthy, and she hasn't had ramen this whole time. Um, Sixty days without ramen is a long time. Jeff, uh, so th thank you for Jeff. Yeah. Soba is a but. Buckwheat noodles? Buckwheat noodles, right. They're usually handmade in the shops. They're very fresh. Mm -hmm. Calling for food. Enjoy while hot. Noodles and tempura for dinner. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Raymond and uh, Centeno. Glad to see Kanai's feeling better. <laughs> yeah. Those soba sets look good too. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Thank you, Raymond. Thank you so much. Yeah, Kanai has not been feeling... Uh, she has a... Uh, I a, got, uh, yeah. Do you want to tell the people? Or? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay? I have a kind of injury. But yeah, it's back getting injury. Better. It's getting better. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to show you really quickly. It, it's okay. These these noodles just yeah. came here. But buckwheat noodles, um, they have that kind of gray brown color to it, and um, they they're not as springy as the white noodles that you get like spaghetti. These break apart more in the mouth. But it's this uh, dashi broth. This really salty fish soup that's mm -hmm. really good as well. It's a little neggy, and you can add some stuff in there. Of course, it comes with tempura. And I don't know why, but tempura, really good tempura, they don't have tempura-only shops. They do, but they're really high class. But if you go and get to a soba shop, they'll always have tempura. And katsudon. And katsudon too, right? And that's another really delicious food. So let's try these uh, noodles, and uh, I'm going to give you a description of how they, how they go, which is basically what I just did. <laughs> I just kind of did that. Ah, uh, soba. Mmm. <laughs> mm, delicious. Which one do you like, soba or udon? Udon. Udon? I like soba, mm. but udon is is um, it's just big fat, mochi mochi kind of noodles. <laughs> they look like little snakes. Yeah, that's way better. It's cooler. Mmm. Mm. It's really really good. Mm. Um. Which one do you like, udon or soba? Mm, when I was young, I like soba, but now I like so ah no. When I was young, I like uh, udon, oh. but now I like soba. You more changed. Than udon changed. Why? I don't know. Soba. I feel soba is more healthy. Oh, because of the health, not the taste. It tastes too. Tastes too. Mm. Yeah, but I like both. Yeah. Mm. John Wakamatsu writes in, looks good. Restaurants are opening in LA. That's really good to hear. Maybe you get some good Japanese food um, in the LA region. Tony P is here. Toby, I mean Tony. 
At Peso and I are watching and plotting together. Oh no, when you got Peso involved, something's bound to happen. Ain't gonna be pretty. Thanks, Peso. Thanks, to uh, Tony, Toby. <laughs> oh. So, this set, the soba is actually an accompan accompaniment with the tendon. This is the this is this is sort of the main course. It's really really heavy, and fresh tempa tempura is always best when it's fresh and it's just out of the fryer. When I went to pick it up, they were just taking it out of the fryer and putting it on there. When they put the dashi on sa on top of it, the tare. Mm -hmm. When they put it on top of hot sizzling tempura, it goes like this. Yeah. Because the tempura just came out of the fryer and then they put the the um, uh, tare on it. You can hear it sizzling still on the boiling hot mm. uh, tempura, and that's what I'm talking about. What's this fish it's here, Kanai? Fish. It's kisu, kisu. Oh, kisu, like a kiss, yes. like a chew. Kiss, yeah, <laughs> like kisu. Can you like eat chipo mo Yeah, you can eat. So we can eat the tail. Oh, my mouth is watering. Look at that, kisu. Everything is just um, temporized to glory. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Kisu is a very soft, white, small mm -hmm. white fish. You can see here. <laughs> there it is, right here. Tempura. Yeah, it's really good with tempura. Um, the oil, the salt, and the oil bring out the flavors really, really well. I think on its own, it's not too flavorful, mm. but with the oil and the salt, it's very good. Wow. How was your tempura? It's you... good. I eat one. Oh, you ate one already? Yeah. Mm. It's big shape. Let's take a look at this prawn here. Yeah, prawn. So not yeah. shrimp. I eat the tail, by the way. If it's been deep fried, <laughs> you can eat the tail. It has a lot of calcium. A lot of you might be grossed out by it, but don't be grossed out by eating the tail. Just the tail. Kids get the tail. Wow. Don't be grossed out by eating the tail. I know, like, it's just crunchy. <laughs> the tail has no flavor. It's just crunchy and salty. It's like potato chips. Hovon writes in, freak. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I'm freaky, but it's good. It's good for you. All right, go ahead. Take her down. Don't eat the shrimp tails unless they've been deep fried, okay? Don't just eat them. Mm. They're not healthy unless they've been deep fried. What is it? Yeah, that's... Good. I'm purring. That's how hung... I'm, I'm like... My mouth is watering. It sounds like I'm purring. Whoa. <laughs> okay, go ahead and eat it. <laughs> Lovely. I guess that's why they leave the tail on. Also, the tail has a really good color. That orange color um, adds to the dish. Just a little bit of, it looks like a little bit of a garnish to it when you when you keep that on there. Mm -hmm. But not, I don't think everybody's gonna wanna eat the tail. That's okay, you don't have to. But when it's been uh, temporized, that's my, my my verb form of tempera, to tempera, to, to be temperad, mm -hmm. you can eat it. A lot of my friends will eat it. Sometimes people don't want it, and I'll eat it. And it, it's calcium, basically. It's really good. But if it's not been uh, cooked raw, don't eat uh, shrimp tails, okay? it's not. That's not good for you. There's a difference. Mm. <sighs> I think it's a green pepper. Yeah, piment. Yeah. It's a mm, green it's pepper. So... Wow. Oh, tempura is just amazing, isn't it? Which tempura do you like? Shrimp. <laughs> Shrimp? Eggplant is good too. Mm. I think any tempura. Can, you can tempura anything, right? Can you do tempura for anything? Really? Maybe. We ate uh, cheese tempura at the uh, tempura shop. Oh yeah, right? it's, it was good. We had cheese tempura mm. once. Imagine, <laughs> you just battered cheese and deep fried it. You you bite into it and it's like, uh, you just fall back and you can't get back up. 
until the next one comes out. It's so, you have to eat it while it's hot. It's so good. Mm. Cheese tempura. Not all the shops do it. <laughs> uh, Chikuwa is also really good tempura. Yeah, yeah. yeah Tokyo Drew's got it right. Mm. You, know, you know what's good and what's not um, good. Maitake. Mmm. Maitake. Maitake is a Japanese mushroom. Maitake is good, you know why? Because it's like this mushroom that comes out of a bunch and there's lots of little um, mushrooms sprouting out of it. And when you batter that and deep fry it, the, deep, the <laughs> batter gets into all the little nooks and crannies of it. So when you're eating it, it's like you're eating like all these little separate mushrooms in one little thing. So you, it's, it's just a lot of fun. I love maitake. Um, can you... We can, Eringi, can you do tempura for eringi and um, hmm. you have to, if you do decide that you want to live in, t in Japan, you have to learn the, the 20 or 30 different kinds of mushrooms because you go to the supermarket as an American, it freaked me out. We have like one mushroom, the ones that were in uh, oh. Super Mario Brothers, like the, the brown and the white yeah, mushrooms, yeah. that's it. That's mm -hmm. what a mushroom looks like. When it came to Japan, mushrooms, they changed. They were like. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's like a like mm. a dozen two dozen kinds of mushrooms. Um, there's the neba neba ones you put in miso soup. I like Nameko. those. Nameko. Nameko. Yeah. Mm -mm. You gotta learn your mushrooms. Mm. Shimeji. Shimeji is really good too. Shimeji enoki shiitake. Mm. Yeah. Shiitake is famous, right? Yeah. The Nostra writes in here. In twenty years, you have been you have gone. We have stepped up. Our mushroom game in America. <laughs> I think so. When I came back, there's still kind of exotic mushrooms, um, but there are more and more mushrooms uh, in the U.S. Uh, than there were 20 years ago. Mm. It's it's getting better, but, but when, when I left, it was a different world. When I'm visited in New York, I'm shocked they have many kinds of cheese. <coughs> oh yeah, cheese. Yeah. So we don't in Japan. We don't have a lot of kind of cheese but when i visited america i found many many kinds of cheese yeah. and it's shocked mm. but now i can find some kinds of cheese in japan too i guess mm. what what mushrooms were to america 20 years ago cheese was mm -hmm. to japan 20 years ago you couldn't find a lot of really good cheeses in japan and now most of the supermarkets will have several kinds. A lot of it is processed mm -hmm. stuff, but um, more and more of the specialty shops, especially in Tokyo, are carrying several kinds of cheese. Before, it was just like processed American cheese. Cream cheese was hard to find for bagels to show. Cream mm -hmm. cheese, amari nakata. No Philadelphia cream cheese, uh, no kitty cream cheese back then. 20 mm -hmm. years ago, it was hard to find. They had processed cheese for pizza, toast, which is really bad, and like the American processed cheese, and there really wasn't anything else. Mm -hmm. I like a feta cheese. Feta but cheese. It's difficult to find feta cheese in Japan. Now it's getting a lot easier mm -hmm. now. You can get them in bottles directly from Greece, Yasu. I'm just amazed at the size of the shrimp. It looks like a rocket ship with the fire on the bottom here. Just it would be pretty cool if it would if it would launch into me mouth. Oh wow. I, I gotta I gotta share this with you. <laughs> It's just, look at that. You can see, it starts seeing the tempura skin um, starting to pop off on the backside. It sticks to the rice. Do you see that? That makes the rice even more delicious. But on the backside of it. Eat rice. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Chillax there. You enjoy your tempura. I'm going to play with my shrimp a little bit longer. Look at that thing. That's a big shrimp, huh? Is it a prawn? I, a lot of people don't know the difference between a prawn and a shrimp. It's hard to it's hard to hard to, to know. When you put it in your mouth, it just tastes good. That's that's all I know. How does it taste? Good. That's that's that is the most important thing. Speaking of which, how does it taste? Mmm. Mm. That's good. I don't have a lot of words. It's just that, that 
tare, the sauce that, mm -hmm. that soaks into the, temp, the deep fried tempura, is just, that's what really brings it all together, I think, that salty sauce around it. It's easy to deep fry a hot dog, but you need to put that, that sauce on top of it, you know? Mm -hmm. that, make, that makes the flavors come through. I'm talking about a corn dog, or we call corn dogs in Japan American dogs. I don't know why. Because only, I guess, only America puts deep fried corn around a hot dog. American dogs. Shippo, tabenai? Mm. Nani dai? I'm okay with that. Demo, taberu hito iru jisho? Well, taberu hito. My dad, I think my dad eat shrimp tail. Sambyoru, three second rule. What? I play by the rules. Three seconds, if you drop it, you can eat it. Now, this is the part that I like. I like the shrimp tails. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I have a sophisticated or unsophisticated taste. Uh, Denise writes in here, good tempura is such an art. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well said. Yeah. It's, it's fluffy, crunchy. Not the same here in San Francisco. I miss Japanese prawn tempura. <laughs> but shiso is also good. Shiso. Yeah, shiso is good. Yeah. Yeah. Shiso is really good. When you get that, we go to a place called Hamachan. I love this this chain. I guess it's a chain. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a chain. We can. They have a shop at the Ueno, Okachimachi, mm. and Shibuya. Right. Mm. Yeah, they, they have a, a few more as well. And you can get super cheap and delicious tempura. They sell on volume. Mm. And you just eat tempura there. You can get sushi as well, but tempura is where it's at. Yeah, tempura is the main. Mmm. The shrimp tail takes in some of the sauce as well. Oh, it's so good. I finished all. Mmm. <laughs> it's good, look at that. Yeah. Why don't you drink the, the soup though? <laughs> Do people drink the soup? That looks like it's still drinkable now. Mmm, we can drink, but it's too, too salty. Kind of salty, so it's mm. not really good for you. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to drink too much of it. The salty. The same with um the same goes for uh ramen. You don't people don't really drink the soup. They might take two or three of it. It's not that the soup is bad. It's really good. It's just not mm. good for you. It's got a lot of uh, salt in there. It's got a lot of um fat. So it's not the healthiest thing to be drinking the ramen soup. Only hardcore people drink it. But I'll tell you what. After a couple of a couple of years of doing it through this lifestyle, you get like really oily skin and don't look healthy. I just thought like, does your papa does he drink the no, soup? He doesn't drink all. That's how he stays in shape. You just yeah. eat the noodles. The noodles take some of the soup. Drink the broth a little bit. I always though it's so good. I always will drink a little bit anyways. So you, yeah. I'll get it like halfway, but I won't drink it all. Just. But I can't understand. Soup is so delicious. Yeah. So it's difficult to stop it, stop drinking, but you better stop it. <laughs> you better not do it. It's not good for your health. But, you know, you put condiments and stuff in it, like uh, garlic mm. and shichimi, which is a mm -hmm. spicy pepper. So I kind of want to drink that. I don't want to waste the garlic. So sometimes at the, <laughs> after the ramen is done, I will search the, the soup know. for the goodies. Yeah. And then I say, oh, I found some treasure. And then you kind of sip sip the goodies like little mushrooms or pieces of chashu mm -hmm. steak that kind of settled onto the bottom that you couldn't find because of the soup is not is hard to see through you have to really dig to find that treasure it's like <laughs> dig down in the davy's locker pull it up from the top save it from the the murky bottom make sure you get your money's worth out of the ramen um this lunch cost us uh twenty dollars so ten dollars for kanai and ten dollars for me i think that that's pretty reasonable set uh we got a bowl of soba a tendon a tempered on rice, rice a tempered bowl, and she got a bowl of a hot soba with um, two massive prawns. Mine was a little. Eh, Ikure da, take. Kore ga. Mine is cheaper. Yours was a little bit cheaper. Seven hundred yen. Seven hundred and and twelve hundred. Yeah, I think it's ten dollars. Yeah, with the bowl of soba, it was a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but pretty reasonably priced. Any last questions here before we uh, we cut off and and head to our cots to let this lunch settle. <laughs> Tempura is a little bit heavy because of this. Um, nice to see everybody still here. John, you should try the ramen um, with scrambled egg noodles woven in them. Yeah. What? Tell me more. Leave me a link in the, leave it in a, in a comment. I have never 
never heard of that. I've never heard of that before. Weather's pretty spring-like now. We have, we've had sunny, um, somewhat windy weather in Tokyo. I now, got the tan. And she got a suntan when we, when we went out before. To, um, but now she's hurt her back and, and she's probably going <laughs> to lay down after this. But she had to make an appearance. People were worried about, about Kanai. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I'm fine. She, she's a warrior. Just the injury. Tomorrow <laughs> morning, I'm gonna be taking you out to um, a location around uh, Tokyo in the morning. I'll surprise you with it. Wow! But it's gonna be pretty nice. The state of emergency has been lifted, but that means that still means we still need mm. to take precautions. So I'm gonna ride my bicycle out to a neighborhood in Tokyo and show you tomorrow. It's a popular place that a lot of people like to go to, and. Um, yeah, that'll be around tomorrow, 10, 10 a.m. Uh, Japan time, 10.30 maybe. Mm. And uh, there's a midnight snack run coming. <laughs> you best be ready. I said like a cowboy. There's a midnight snack inbound. So oh. uh, it might be outdoor, indoor snack, outdoor midnight snack. Outdoor midnight snack? I think so. Will people get angry if I go outside? I don't think so. Totoro, why are you staring at me? You can you can use alcohol before eating. Yeah. And you can you can make social distancing. I and would. It's fine. I want in and out. I don't want to mess around inside that supermarket. <laughs> it's creepy though, because Totoro keeps staring at me. Do you see it? Look at the creepy smile. It's not creepy. I don't know. It's a little bit too toothy for me. <laughs> I always think at night when we go to sleep, these um, stuffed animals animate and they walk around and treat them right. Never treat a, a stuffed animal uh, poorly or they will seek revenge when you sleep at night. I hear things and creaking and things like this. I know what it is. Wow. Very scary. Um, tonight to drink. Yeah, I don't know if the, the midnight snack run will be either tonight or tomorrow night. Depends a lot yeah. on the weather and how I'm feeling, yeah. but uh, I got a lot of stuff that I have to do over the next uh, few days. Uh, everybody on Patreon knows all about the inside information and a big announcement uh, coming. But I hope that everybody is doing well. We wanted to bring you just another delivery food, and we're going to do another one next week because um, we still shouldn't be eating out at restaurants too much, limiting your risk, limiting the the chance that you might get sick. It's still out there, and as long as it is, you, we have to be uh, we have to stay vigilant. We can do takeaway. Takeaway is good. It was really fast. They were so happy. You know what the best part about this delivery food was? They were so happy to see me, um, to get customers again. And that makes me really happy too because uh, it's a local business just down the street. So really good, really good soba and tempura. So I have to give it a big <laughs> thumbs up. Um, if you do have any suggestions for food, um, food delivery that we haven't done already, or if there's some kind of content that you'd like to see, Go in the comments below and uh, leave us some suggestions. I do read the comments and I do take it, uh, um, do take those into consideration because I want to make content for you. And click the thumbs up like button. We're really, really light on that. It's like 265 likes isn't so great, but uh, <laughs> okay. I know you guys want to see more food deliveries, so wow. click that that thumbs up. Udon pizza, nai jisho. Udon pizza, tempura pizza. Hmm, I have never heard of no. it. The, I, I believe that the tapioca tapioca boom is over <laughs> because they've put now Domino's bought up all the tapioca on sale and they're putting it as a topping on their pizza. It's pretty nasty That's in a way. Strange. I know. So maybe I'll get that and try it. But some other YouTubers have already done it. I don't know. Yeah. Tapioca. I'm not a. I'm a. I like tapioca, but when the boom came, it became less attractive because I don't want to follow what everybody else is doing. If I start drinking a tapioca drink, like ooh, look at me, I feel like I'm following. All these other people, like, um, um, like, I don't want to be a follower. I actually, I didn't try tapioca drink yet. Did you? Ever? No, you did in Oka in Yokohama, in Chinatown. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, but after this, uh, oh, news, the boom, boom, I didn't try. Because... I haven't either. I stay away from those places with the long lines. But now yeah. that the tourists are gone, there's no more tapioca stands. Mm. They're all dried up, so the tapioca boom is over. Um, but if the boom is over, you wouldn't be a follower anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so maybe I'll just, you know what I'm going to do? I want to pluck the tapioca off the pizza and then make a drink from that. It's gross. It sounds really gross. 
You can make tapioca pizza by yourself. I could, but where do you buy tapioca? Can you just buy it at the supermarket? Yeah, maybe. Really? Did not know that. I don't know. Like, how much is how much is it tapioca? They're probably still pretty expensive. All I know is that Dominus buys it in bulk. And it might be an interesting live stream to, to get a take on it. Um, and anyways, uh, leave me your comments below. We've always, Sushi pizza? The thing is with sushi <laughs> pizza, Remco, is that if you put it on a pizza, is it really sushi anymore? And sushi is <laughs> supposed to be on a bed raw. of rice. I know, it's not raw. It's kind of cooked. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's like body sushi, which, by the way, I searched for that in Japan when I came here 20 years ago. Body sushi is not a thing here, okay? I don't know where that came from. Body sushi, it's like a Western thing where some dudes in New York got together like bankers and said we can we can buy some body and make eat off their body. I, I look for that here. Seriously, I look for it. It's up, and I didn't find body sushi. Seriously. Night show. Like, like, it's gross. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody says it's good. Somebody, <laughs> kabuki cho, maybe. I think that's it. That's something that <laughs> Japanese don't. I've never heard of Japanese. Even this really scabby, like perverted businessman <laughs> that I talked to, have never done it. And and they did some stuff in the 1980s. Oh, you you believe me? They, I believe their stories. And uh, uh, none of them said that either was stupid, and they never heard of such a thing before. Either that, or they're completely in denial. But I think it was a U.S. thing from the 1980s where Japanese mm -hmm. culture was coming along, and just like. Uh, Something that was in a movie, Rising Sun, maybe. I don't know. But that's sort of uh, not true. Just in the movies, right? It's JJ Tokyo. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these stereotypes, maybe that'd be a really nice episode to try to bust some of the, the myths. Um, homie Takoyaki. No, you know what? I was going to totally do that. I know. I was going to do, we were going to do Homie Takoyaki. The problem was that the grills, mm -hmm. the metal parts were all sold out that, that we could buy it. So maybe it's a, another, maybe I should go back online and try to find some. But there's a, uh, Homemade takoyaki uh, grills. I don't want to do the electric one. I want gas. You got to do it with gas. You got to get it really hot. And yeah. those were sold. Yeah. <laughs> I never had good electric takoyaki. It's like you couldn't find gas, oh. so you settle for the electric. Electric doesn't get hot enough. So you need to get a good wow. um, a gas takoyaki grill, and it's a, it's a lot better. That's I why. I've never tried gas. Takoyaki. You have totally. Get, um, At um, the shop, right? Yeah, but they all use gas. At home. That's because when I do stuff, I do it right. <laughs> there's no audience to clap. You, you know, there's no one clapping. I can't, I can't hear the claps. All right. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. We'll see you again in another live stream, perhaps tonight, perhaps tomorrow. That's why you subscribe. And thanks so much also for clicking. We got up to 300 likes and much appreciated. It means that you like this content. I'm a little disappointed we only we didn't get to 500, but if you do like this, <laughs> click like, because I, I do follow it, um, the trends of what you guys want to see. Right. <laughs> Bye, see you. See you soon.